So, Coach, you played here in the mid-'80s at Wisconsin. How would you describe your playing career? Pretty short. <laughs> you know, it was, uh, I, w I came as a quarterback, and, uh, and then we had a, our coach, Dave McLean, he passed away and played for three coaches. It was, uh, it was a good career, but not a great career, certainly, and that's why I get to coach. Um, you have over 100 players on your team. Most of them don't play a lot. Most of them right. aren't stars. Right. So did your personal experience, does that help you relate to most of your team? Yeah, I think it does. You, you know, I'd like to think that no matter what your experience was, if you're in coaching, you should find a way to be able to relate to guys. And, and yet, I think that there is a knowledge. I don't know if it's from my playing career. That seems so long ago. And it was just that everyone's story is different. Everyone's in a different place. And your job as a coach, and it's a great part of the job, is just try to help them enjoy and maximize the experience. You come here and the blueprint was clear. You knew the blueprint when you took the job physical offensive line because you re could recruit them in state, running backs, and now obviously you have a reputation for running backs and a legendary walk-on program. The most recent change is the defense. You're, this is right. your third defensive coordinator with Jim Leonard, and you're a 30 front, you're different, you're right. known as much for your defense now as your offense. Is that now part of the blueprint? Well, I think if you go back and um, look at some of Coach Alvarez's first teams, it was really good defense, and it was being able to run the ball, and, and then obviously, play good special teams and I think that you know we all know football you need good offense you need good defense and, and good special teams and I think that you just adjust accordingly to what you have but certainly you know been around good defense before and we've been on a stretch here where we've played really good defense and that's been fun to be a part of you again you played in the mid 80s but now the conference is 14 teams right. divided east and west how has the division and you being in the west changed the Wisconsin program that's a good question. I don't know how it's necessarily changes. It's certainly different. You know, you've got uh, teams that you maybe play. You know, some of our kids won't play them at all. And, and but I don't know if I don't know how to answer that as far as how it's different. Um, I've always felt really fortunate when I was a player, and then when I had the opportunity to coach in this league, you, you respect and appreciate the league. There's really good football teams. There's really good players. There's really good coaches, and it's always a challenge. Best thing about coaching at your alma mater. You know, I, I've felt lucky to coach everywhere I've been and um, really feel fortunate. And yet when you're at a place that you know so well, I mean, my dad played here and he coached here, th there's just a lot more layers. You, know, you have a, a football alumni gathering and there's guys that my dad played with, there's guys that my dad coached, there's guys that I played with, there's guys that I coached. So I think it's just deeper layers, but I've always felt really fortunate to just be able to coach. Well, they're fortunate to have you as their coach. Thanks so much. Appreciate it. Take care. All right.